Hey guys, I'm Sundar. Today we are going to discuss about GD and TC in Creo. So, see this example. We have position tolerance here with respect to A and B datums. Okay. So, let's get started. Here, we need to create a whole tolerance, position tolerance for this hole. Okay. So, for that we need datums, datum A and datum B. So, go to 3D model. Here, go to annotation tab, create a datum target annotation feature, set a datum tag, click OK and give it a name A and the reference, click on geometry and select the geometry and placement on the geometry, keep it on the geometry, click OK and then OK, that's it repeat it for the B datum as well ok click ok B and on the geometry select the surface keep it on the geometry the placement will be on the same geometry ok click ok that's it we have created datum datums ok and go back to drawing here ok now go to geometric tolerance click on that and now click on position tolerance and the reference select the reference from the drop down click feature and click the hole ok and then go to placement and from the drop down click on the dimension and click the dimension from the drawing ok so now on the next tab we need to define the datums okay what is the primary datum and what is the secondary datum here the primary datum is a and the secondary datum is b okay so primary datum is a and the secondary datum is b go to next tab give the tolerance value 0 0.02 that's it and go to next tab there is there are special symbols for that if you want a diameter symbol or a, a free state symbol like that you can check them so in this case we don't have any we don't need any symbols okay and go to next tab additional text here we have uh, we can put any text below or above or left or right or like that okay and then click okay that's it we have successfully created the datum uh, position tolerance for the hole ok if you want to edit it so please write uh, hold click and then pick from list and click on id 1 g tolerance ok and come back to it and right click on it and go to properties there you go you can edit the values again ok that's it thank you for watching